Welcome back. Time is 6.54. And time to get you right to out at the door on this Friday with these top headlines of the morning. In Franklin County, sinkhole, Walnut Grove Road closed right now from the Sheriff's Office to the railroad tracks. Crews right now working to repair that sinkhole. Uh, Sheriff's Office says that sinkhole was an issue earlier this week, but it's gotten worse. The Madison County Bridge will be closed for the foreseeable future due to safety concerns. County leaders closed the bridge over the Paint Rock River on New Hope Highway after a recent inspection. It showed the bridge deteriorated since an inspection last year. Well, the first Alabama man to plead guilty for his role in the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot scheduled to be sentenced today. Lonnie Kaufman will go before a judge at 930 this morning. A Huntsville woman who pleaded guilty to killing her father will learn her fate today. Lamia Boykin's sentencing hearing is at 9 this morning. Boykin's dad, Neil Boykin, was found dead after being beaten in 2017. Investigators right now searching for this man in Tennessee. They say he was involved in a homicide there. His name is Robtavius Hawk. They say he killed somebody last month. If you see him, call police. The Alabama Department of Corrections is hosting a job fair today. It starts at 7 this morning at the Limestone Correctional Facility in Harvest. Organizers say you should bring your driver's license, completed state application. They're looking for correction officers. Happening today, the Huntsville Havoc starts its last home stand of the season before the playoffs. The Havoc will take the ice against the Fayetteville Marksman. It's fan appreciation night, by the way. And first Fridays are back. Downtown Florence will be transformed into a craft market this evening. The vendors will line Court Street starting at 5.30 this evening. And there's always live music to enjoy there as well. What Carson? do people need to dress like for that, Carson? Probably have a heavier jacket. Those temperatures are going to be dropping as we get towards Friday evening. High temperatures today in the lower 60s. So we'll have plenty of sunshine, yeah, but it's still about 10 degrees below average for this first day of April. But if you have any Friday night plans, again, it should be just fine. Just need that jacket nearby. Weekend looks okay. We'll have a few showers around on Saturday. Sunday looks dry. Then we're watching two systems in particular Tuesday of next week. And then again on Wednesday, kind of a one two punch with heavy rain and maybe a few stronger storms as well. Still got to fine tune a lot of details with that forecast, but all in all for the next few days, outside yeah. of the showers tomorrow, not too bad. I want to ask, I'm, I've got a sinus infection. Yeah, Those yes, allergies, not going vaccine? anywhere. Oh my goodness. Tree pollen and grass pollen. Wow. Well, right. yeah, you know what? The seven day doesn't look bad though. Not bad at all. Once <laughs> not we get bad. Hey, I fought through week. it because I wanted yep. to be here. We're <laughs> thankful that you joined us this week for 24 seven coverage. You can count on go to waytv.com. Good morning. America's up next. Carson and I will have local news and weather updates for you every 30 minutes. We'll see you back here at 723 for the first one.